So price, price. Price, price, price. Just, just yeah. do it. That's the way it is. Yeah. That's the way it is, right? Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to explain it to you now, right? From start to finish. We're going to try. Okay. Action. Right? Yes. Okay. So, so what we're doing here is an AdSense test. An AdSense test is a test to test for the integrity of the subclavian artery. Subclavian artery goes obviously sub underneath your clavicle and it becomes the auxiliary artery and runs down the arm it becoming the brachial artery and it's the blood supply to your arm. So this is the subclavian part and you're testing for that. There are different things which you can cause compression to your subclavian artery. The ones that you're kind of testing for here specifically would be um, a raised first rib or a cervical rib. A cervical rib for those who don't know is not a true rib but it's a transverse process of your C7 which would be just above your T1, which is an actual, which actually has your first rib coming off it, is overgrown and enlarged, so it'll be sticking out. Maybe on both sides or one side, a lot of people have it, don't know about it. And obviously, if you have a cervical rib, it's, it can encroach upon the brachial plexus, including the brachial bundle arteries and nerves in certain positions and give you neuropathic or vascular symptoms in your arm. That's what we're testing for. We can also test in this test for, um, tight scalings because the brachial, the, 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 the subclavian artery exits the neck between the anterior and middle scalene by maximally tightening the scalenes we will cause compression on the subclavian artery and if they're very tight they'll tighten it enough to diminish the blood supply to the subclavian artery and give you a diminished pulse. Now bearing all that in mind here's the test from start to finish okay. so. First thing I do is I get Andrew and I'll take his, using my uh, index finger and middle finger, I'll test, I'll hold his um, radio pulse. So he's a good strong pulse there, okay? So what I do is I start here. I'm going to start by abducting the arm to 90 degrees. I externally rotate the glenohumeral joint like that until the hand is supinated. Then I will horizontally abduct the shoulder and he still has a strong pulse. Now I get you to take a deep breath in. Hold your breath, turn your head to the, to, to the left. He still has a strong pulse. Breathe out and turn the head to neutral. Okay, so just to neutral to the center. So if in this case he did have a diminished pulse, as he turns his head to the side, what that could indicate is a diminished pulse from a raised first rib, because he's leaning into it, or a cervical rib. Okay, so if I do the same thing now, it says I can feel his pulse, take a deep breath in and rotate your head to the right fully. Okay, if in this case he had a diminished pulse, what we could be looking at is he is maximally stressed, stretched or the scalenes here, tightening the area between the anterior middle scalene and affecting the subclavian artery perhaps. So that may cause the diminished pulse, which would, could indicate the uh, loss of integrity to the subclavian artery because it's been tightened by the scalings. That is the AdSense test in as much as I can understand it from start to finish. Okay? Can we do that? Yeah. How would you